All right, so think about any questions you might have um, that we might answer here as a community. And while we are uh, asking the questions, we usually take the time um, to write the feedback down. So I would, can you take out the, the feedback form shield? Can I borrow yours for a second? Um, so specifically for this meetup, I would love to hear from you. What did you like? What didn't you like? What would you like to change? And whether you would recommend it to a friend or not on a scale from one to 10. Yeah, um, and we can keep asking questions and I would really appreciate if you put the feedback into our treasure chest because we really treasure and help, it helps us to, to improve the, the whole meetup experience for you guys. So, any questions that come to mind uh, that you would like to discuss while we are writing down feedback? Aniko? Okay, so uh, I would like to more know more about the active campaign. Uh, You'd like to know more about active campaign? What? Um, like, what would you say is the biggest biggest advantage of using it compared to HubSpot? Or yep. what is what is one feature that you're missing that HubSpot has? Are you using HubSpot yeah. at the moment? Okay, so um, price is a huge difference. Okay. I don't know how much are you paying. Oh, wouldn't say. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't say, but it it, it starts at six hundred and above. Yeah, could, is that correct? Yeah, it's way above. So price is a huge, huge, huge difference. And HubSpot tries to be an everything tool. It, it, it does landing pages, it does emails, it does workflow automations, it does all kinds of stuff. And it is very good at sales. It does lead scoring. And, and I would say if you're really looking for the all-in-one solution, HubSpot is the better choice compared to um, Active Campaign. But if you're looking for best of breed solution, for example, you want to go and build your landing pages in WordPress or Instapage um, and not use HubSpot. You're wasting like this big tool of HubSpot that could actually build landing pages, but landing pages in HubSpot just suck. It is really bad, yeah? Um, for example, that's, that's what I don't miss when not using HubSpot. I can freely use any landing page tool I like. I personally use Instapage. Then, um, it, to me, it tries to be like too, too much. And for example, in terms of split testing AB workflows, I can't. I simply cannot AB test an email that is in a workflow, which is totally crazy for me. Yeah? Um, then what else? I actually, I, I, do, I do kind of like HubSpot, but it, the price kills me. Um, if you actually use the whole sales thing afterwards as well, I think HubSpot is absolutely worth it. Yeah, but the sales module, the round robin, is also available in Active Campaign. But switching CRMs is not something I can recommend. Or would, uh, yeah, I would do to my worst enemy. It's not fun at all. Does it answer your question? Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, any other questions, please? Hi, what's your name? My name is Bao. Hi, Bao. Bao is my name. Hi. So I'm a beginner at, as a digital marketer and I'm running Facebook ads at the moment and I'm not quite sure how much I should split test um, in my Facebook campaigns yep. or uh, split testing less or more. I don't know how much... Uh, how much money are you spending? Yeah. How much money, how much money are you spending roughly per day? Roughly per day, like 30 euros at the moment. 30 euros. How much does a conversion cost that you are going for? What is the conversion and how much does it cost? At the moment, the conversion costs like 5 euros, 6 euros. 5 euros. And yeah. what is the conversion in lead? Or what is the conversion? It's, it's 5 euros per lead. Per lead, so yeah. you get a name and an email? Just an email at the moment. Just an email. Okay, yeah. so every day you have a good chance of getting 6. Yeah, six okay. uh, leads, six conversions. Over one week, that is about 35 people. 30 is the minimum that, for example, Facebook needs in order to optimize for conversions, okay. yeah, to do that. So you're already stuck to just one campaign and one ad set. Yeah. And now you can do maybe three ads. Uh, and that is the level of split testing I would do in Facebook ads with that budget and that conversion price. So I always think about how many conversions can I get for my given budget? And I split it by 30, and that is essentially the amount of ad sets I can have. Because all of the learning 
in, 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 in Facebook happens on the ad set level. So you need 30 conversions per ad set in order for Facebook to optimize for conversions. And then you can do split testing on the, on the ad level a lot, yeah? That means don't split test a lot. Focus on just three ad creatives that you test. Maybe have one campaign with two ad sets. That's my personal feeling. Anybody who has a different opinion, that is very welcome here. Yeah? Any other question? Tom? Um, how much does it cost you or your business to get one lead in your calendar form uh, to sign up for a call? 30 euros. 30 euros? Yeah. Okay. There's a question in the live stream. I want to hear that one. Hello, live stream. How are you? Marcus Book is asking. Uh, um, ah, Marcus. Hi. All tracking tools for social media are not fully legal. Which tools you can use? So uh, again, we had this phantom buster discussion a little bit. So that's the that's the gray area one uh, that you can use. We mentioned linked helper. We link. Uh, we we can mention duck soup. Octopus, um, Leopold, Prospect, what? Prospect in for LinkedIn, is that correct? So those are fun ones. Just be careful with those, Marco. Yeah? Uh, it, I don't know if you really get the value out of it. I would focus on quality contacts, even if they are done manually, yeah? Um, especially in the B2B area, few very good relationships just bring you way further than a ton of just lose ones. I know the, I'm also hunting the 10K, so I feel you. So to, to, it, it's, a, it's a big incentive to do a lot of automation uh, there because it's actually a lot of work to do it manually, but I think it's worth it. But now you got some ideas for tools that you can try, but just be careful with it. Not more than 100 contacts per day, my friend. Um, okay, more questions? You guys? You have one? Are you thinking about one? Okay. So, um, I really appreciate the feedback uh, you give. And again, you can easily give back. If anything was helpful today, do me a favor, share the live stream, take a picture, hashtag pirate skills so we can find each other later. And, and I can see the meetup from different perspectives. So, and if you have any questions or suggestions for topics uh, and speakers, or, or you have a question about what we talked about, I love to chat during lunch, and we can set up a date there. No charge, of course. <laughs> and thank you all for coming. Let's have some run. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, live stream. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Oh, I need to put on the pirate cap here, like this. <laughs> Arr! <laughs> all right, thank yeah, you. Thank you.